Hey there everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal for those of you who are new here and welcome to my fashion and lifestyle channel. If you are not new, then welcome back girl. So in today's video, I'm going to be styling up one of my favorite types of prints and that is leopard print. Leopard print is a huge trend for this year and I feel like leopard print really to me is a classic but because it's trending like you can find so many leopard print slash cheetah print because I really can't tell the difference between leopard and cheetah print. I'm sure if I googled it I would be able to see the difference but any kind of animal print I love but especially like leopard, cheetah, I think jaguar kind of fits in there too. But anywho leopard print, cheetah print, I love styling those types of items of clothing. So yeah I'm going to be sharing with you guys a few outfits with pieces that I have in my wardrobe just to kind of show you that you know you don't have to be in intimidated by the print because I know it is such a bold print and not everybody wants to wear it not everybody feels like they can pull it off but I'm here to tell you girl you can pull it off you can I feel I feel like leopard print is a neutral because especially with the type like the regular the standard leopard print there are different shades you know as far as color variations to leopard print but like the basic just you know animal print that that it normally comes in right as far as the animal I feel like it's a neutral color and can pair with all kinds of things in your wardrobe so yeah girl so if you want to see how to style leopard print slash cheetah print then just keep watching all right so i'm going to pop up the um outfit on the screen so that you guys can see it um and we'll just talk about it and i'll just kind of give you my thought process so with this earth outfit i call this like my kind of like chic kind of classy sophisticated kind of way to style leopard print because it is very bold but I feel like you can calm it down by just adding like little elements of like classy and sophisticated pieces so that's pretty much what I did with this outfit so um starting from the top the sunglasses those are Ray-Bans um my necklace that is a necklace that I got from um, Vestiaire Collective it is a Louis Vuitton that's actually the chain the the chain isn't Louis Vuitton but the little locket is Louis Vuitton um and then the button-up shirt that I have on that is from Zara I've had that for years like I'm so glad that leopard print is trending now because I have a lot of leopard print pieces and I haven't worn this shirt in so long um, but it is a button-up shirt it is from Zara and then draped over that I have on a um, cable knit sweater that is from Ralph Lauren I just love it and then my skirt that is also from Zara my handbag is from Toy Birch and my um, little loafers those are from I think I got those from Timu. Yeah, those are from Timu. So, um, but yeah, so this is just, like I said, just a classy, sophisticated way to, way to wear leopard print, I feel like. Um, and just like the neutral tones and just the cream color just kind of like brings it down a little bit. So it's not so intimidating. Like most of the leopard print is kind of pretty much camouflaged or really just kind of hidden by the pieces that I have on so because this shirt that I have on is very um it's kind of like goes like below my butt if I was to untuck it um and then it would be below my butt so that would be like too much so I just decided with this outfit to tuck it in the skirt just to kind of hide some of it so just to kind of show you that you can um wear it and it not be you know so in your face and so just bold so to me this is just a perfect outfit just a you know neutral outfit like I said I feel like leopard print slash cheetah print is a neutral color or a neutral print that you can kind of style up with different neutrals in your wardrobe. So, but yeah, I just love this outfit. Like I said, it's just a preppy. Yeah, that's what I was, that's what I was trying to say. It's a preppy outfit that I feel like, um, you know, you can wear something like this to work. I feel like, and you know, it just kind of brings a little bit of elements of funness to your outfit. So, um, but yeah, I love this outfit. You guys let me know what you think about how I style up the leopard print piece in my wardrobe and yeah, we'll get into the next one. All right, and this is another leopard print button-up shirt, but this one isn't like your standard like leopard print. This is like a leopard print with a little bit of like color. So this leopard print shirt, um, it kind of has like a burnt orange kind of color to it. Yeah, like burnt orange, I feel like is what this color looks like, or like a deep red. Um, but it is leopard print, so I just love it. And this is also from Zara. It's like in a silky kind of fabric, um, and I've had this for a while too. So um, yeah, so the button-up shirt that is from Zara, Zara, the um, top that I have underneath that is a bodysuit from Zara and then I just kind of wanted to make this kind of like a edgy look so yeah this is like a edgy sort of sporty look if you will so my skirt is a it's a cargo skirt that is also from Zara so this is pretty much an all Zara look um, and then my shoes those are my Adidas Sambas my handbag that is a handbag that I got for my birthday um, that is from Aritzia 
and then as far as my sunglasses those sunglasses are from j crew they're kind of like i think they're kind of tortoise shell too but you can barely see it it's like a yeah like a tortoise shell type of a um deal um they look black on camera but they are tortoise shell the frames are and then just have on some basic like hoop earrings it's the same necklace that i had on and then just a few little bangles that i got from shein so just a cute feel like casual look i made the top or i made the whole outfit seem more casual especially with the um cargo skirt and the um sneakers because the top is very dressy so this is kind of a way that i can kind of like style it up or you can style it up in like a very you know just kind of casual way if you have like a you know dressy top like this then you can just dress it down by just adding like these you know these um toned down or like dress down pieces on um, you can also swap out if you don't have like a cargo skirt you can wear like some just denim jeans and it'll be fine too but really i feel like the um shoes or the sneakers really make it kind of a casual look um so like a like a running errand type of look so this is something i would wear to like go to the grocery store or something to run errands so um but yeah i love this outfit i love the leopard print in this particular outfit because it's not your you know your typical leopard print like the other um button-up shirt that i had on so just kind of show you that if you have like some leopard print in your wardrobe that's not the basic you know the run the mill standard you know leopard print if you have something a little bit out there then you know don't be afraid to wear it um, or don't if you find something like this in the stores or something online at the thrift store even you can also find leopard printed pieces at the thrift store too um you know get those pieces that you know aren't your like your standard kind of leopard print which is like something like this find something like this and just make you know make your outfit fun because you know we're all about trying to make fashion fun so um but yeah i love this outfit you guys let me know what you think about how i styled up my leopard print piece in this particular outfit and we will get into the next one all right, and this next leopard print piece or this outfit, I call this like my monochromatic piece or my monochromatic look rather because everything is just pretty much monochromatic, the same tone. So um, let's start with this dress. This is a satin dress or like one of these satin, satiny, silky slip dresses. And this one's from Zara. Zara have a lot of good leopard printed pieces. Let me just say that. Um, so if, you, if you're looking for some leopard print, if you're looking to add some to your wardrobe this year, um, definitely check out Zara. I'll try to link down some pieces down in the description box for you guys in case you're interested in you know finding something like that or finding something like what i have i'll try to find some pieces from zara because zara they they have good leopard printed pieces um so yeah so it is from zara and then i have on a green like a it's like an army green or like a forest green um hat like a fedora i don't know where i got that from i've had that for years as well but it just goes with the green tones in this outfit the um turtleneck that i have on and it's very 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 sheer and lightweight so that's why i can kind of get away with wearing that now in the springtime because you know i won't burn up because this thing is super thin um but it is from mango and then my handbag again another green piece that is from etsy i have on some gold little booties that are also from zara and then as far as my jewelry my earring I love these earrings. They're like a drop, like a drop style earring, if you will. I think that's what you call them. They have like little ball details on the end of them. But those are from H&M. Um, my sunglasses, those are from Free People. They just to kind of go again with the green, the monochromatic green look of this outfit. I went with these green tinted lenses, sunglasses. Actually, the whole entire uh, sunglasses green. The lens and the uh, frames are green. Are green. Um, and then this necklace that I have on, it's like a paper clip and a like pearl detail so it's kind of like both of those details on this um, necklace i think i got that from shein and then i just went with like a little um gold cuff to go with the gold so just green and gold monochromatic look um just, again this is not your standard run-of-the-mill leopard print it just has that fun color like a fun little color to it which is the green and i just absolutely love this outfit i never would have thought to put these pieces together i'm glad that i don't know my my, my styling <laughs> kind of went a little you know went out there with this outfit because i don't think um, i've ever worn this outfit so this definitely makes me want to wear this out to like date night or something so um yeah this will be a cute like date night out date night outfit would be cute to wear to work too just take off the fedora um yeah this is a cute like girls night out or girls you know trip or something like that so definitely a fun look again monochromatic you can do monochromatic with leopard print depending on the color of the leopard printed piece that you have so i just love this outfit so glad that i thought to put this together and yeah you guys let me know what you think about it and we'll get into the next one 
All right, and this next look is like what I call like my edgy look, my, my edgy casual look. And yeah, I just love this outfit. It's just very edgy. Um, I like to do edgy sometimes. I, I like to do like the sophisticated, like classy looks. Sometimes I like to go outside the box and just do like some edgy, some edginess, if you will. So yeah, so this outfit is definitely edgy. Um, so we'll just talk about the pieces. So these sunglasses, they are huge. Um, I always get compliments on them, but I can never figure out. I don't know where I got them from. I've had them for years. I think they're probably from Shein or somewhere like that. But yeah, they're just like a light, very light tinted um, sunglass. Um, and then I just have on this hard Davidson like distressed top that I got from actually a brand called Micah that I work with um, I think I work with them on Instagram but this is one of the pieces that I selected from the brand um, so yeah so it's just like a mo motorcycle like graphic tee it says Harley Davidson on it um, it goes with the um, jacket that I have on so the jacket um, the star of the show is um, from Amazon actually I just recently got this this week so this is a new piece um, I wanted like a leopard print like denim jacket I didn't know if I could find something like that and I actually found it on Amazon so this one I will talk about this one again I'm not gonna go into detail because I am gonna do like a new in my wardrobe haul so this will be featured in there too so I'll talk about it later but yeah so this is from Amazon the, the leopard print um, denim jacket and then my jeans just look again go with the edginess um, these are from Fashion Nova I think and they're just some cargo pants they are a dupe of the Attico jeans um, and yeah, they have distressing in them again to kind of go with the distressing, distressing of my top. And then as far as um, my shoes, I have on my yellow um, Tiger Onitsukas, I think is how you say it. Uh, where did I get these from? I think I got these from Amazon maybe. I don't know. I've had these for probably a year now. And then as far as the accessories, more of the accessories, I just went with some little gold hoops. I think those are from Amazon. I think kept on the same necklace that I had on earlier. And then I just wanted to add a little bit more fun because this outfit, this outfit is very extra. So I just thought, you know, if you go big or go home, right? So to continue with the extraness of this outfit, I went with this um, chain belt that I got from Shein just to kind of, I like that look like that, like with a, you know, cargo jean with like a little chain, like most men wear something like that. I don't have a chain like that, but I had this like little belt chain. So I just wrapped it around my, my waist and just kind of made like a little chain type of a thing situation going on here. So I thought that was cute and unique. So, um, and then I went with my, uh, Fendi little handbag here, my little tote bag, um, just to kind of, kind of goes with the, um, uh, jacket a little bit and, and adds like a little bit of like print mixing if you will with the little Zuka print of the Fendi bag with leopard print just kind of adds a little bit of some like I said some print mixing in this outfit just again to make the outfit fun because you know it's all about having fun with your fashion so um, but I really love this outfit it's very edgy um, it's very you know unique and yeah, I never would have thought to put these pieces together, but as my styling brain, you know, was going, my styling, you know, wheel was going, I was just like, you know what, this, yeah, let me put these pieces together and see how they go. And they just work. At least I think they work. You guys let me know what you think about this outfit um, with the styling of it. So yeah, we'll get into the next one. All right, and this next look, I like to call this like my mob wife look. Um, we know that that whole mob wife aesthetic is super trendy right now. So I just thought I would play off that a little bit here with this outfit. It's very much so like a fall winter outfit. So I don't know, unless you live in a really cold climate, um, you can, you know, pull this off. It's basically just with the um, fur coat. But anyway, so let's talk about the pieces. So um, starting from the top, I have on my Gucci sunglasses. I got these from Amazon. I've had these for a couple of years now. And, you know, nothing says, you know, mob wife or Italian, you know, mob wife, you know, more so than Gucci, right? Um, so, yeah, so the sunglasses from Gucci still have the same hoop earrings that I had on earlier, the same necklace. I just kept the jewelry kind of simple. Um, the fur coat. That is actually from a little online boutique. I can't remember the name of it. If it's still available, I will link it down below. Anything that I show you guys, if it's still available, I will link it down below. Can't promise I'll find something similar, but I will try to um, link down the pieces in the description box of anything that I, you know, share with you guys that's still available. Um, but yeah, so it's from a little online boutique, and I love the the color, the texture of this fur coat, full full fur, fur coat, I should say. Um, and then as far as my dress, this dress I've had for years. I don't even know the last time I wore this dress, but it is also from Zara. Like I say, y'all, Zara has some really nice pieces, um, especially leopard print. 
Um, so yeah, it is from Zara. And then I just belted it with this belt that I had had for years again. I don't even remember where I got this belt from. It's just like a gold stretchy kind of belt. The back part of it is kind of stretchy. So um, it's perfect for, you know, stitching in your waist. Um, my handbag, that is from Mango. I just recently got that a few few months ago. I think I got that um, around my birthday as well. It's just like a sequin detail, little clutch, you know, perfect to go with this outfit. Um, and then my boots, these knee-high boots, these are from Bloomingdale's, I believe. Um, yeah, I got those, I think, around my birthday month as well. It's just to go with the red. Just like, I love like little pops of red. Um, again, this is a very extra outfit, again, with the faux fur, you know, the faux fur and the leopard print and the red. But isn't that what a mob wife is, right? She's very extra and just very out there. But um, I love this outfit. And like I said, even if you can't wear this now, this is a perfect outfit to wear, you know, when fall and winter roll back around. I'm sure I'll be wearing this um, when it, you know, during those colder months. So just save this video for later, you know, to get inspo for, you know, later. If some of the outfits don't work with your climate that you have currently, then of course, you know, you can always save it for later to get inspo as far as how to, you know, style up your pieces. So. Um, but I love this outfit. Like I said, it's definitely giving mob life. I would wear this. Um, yeah, I would wear this to date night. I'd wear this. I'd wear this to church. You know, I don't think it's too out there to wear to church. Um, it is out there though. It's very. It's not a basic outfit at all. Like you gotta have a certain amount of confidence to wear something like this. I feel like I do. You know, I don't. You know, care what people think when I go out when I step outside. As long as I love it, that's all that matters. So, um, yeah, I would wear something like this to church. I wear, like I said, date night. Yeah, I just love this outfit. It's so cute. So, but you guys let me know what you think about it and we will get into the next one. All right, and with this next outfit, it's um, sort of like what I would call like my cool tone look. So styling up, you know, leopard print in a cool tone way. Because, you know, leopard print, like I said, the run of the mill regular leopard print is very warm tone. And so when you have like a cool tone leopard print that you can style up, then I feel like this is a cute little way to style it up just with silver pieces because silver is more of a cool tone type of a tone. So um, that's basically what I did with this outfit. Everything is silver gray and just very cool tone. So I'm um, starting from the top, these um, earrings, these are huge. These are from um, ASOS. I just recently got these. They're no longer available, but they're like a beaded kind of um, hoop earring and I love them. Um, I just didn't do a whole lot of jewelry with this outfit because the earrings, I feel like it's the star of the show and just kind of like is a lot. So, um, but in the sunglasses, those are from, I think I got those from Shein. There's like a metallic front, you know, like metallic, like rimless type of a situation. I think those, I thought those would look cute with this outfit. Um, and then um, the star of the show, the, you know, leopard print top turtleneck, that is actually from H&M. I think it might be still available. If it is, I will link it, but it's like in this, you know, gray and black tone. Like again, again, like I said, cool tone. So I love this. Um, and then on top of it, I have on a trench coat and I just kind of rolled up the sleeves for more of a, like a, I don't know, more of a casual type of feel. And also to kind of show a little bit more of the leopard print. Um, I wanted the leopard print to kind of pop at the bottom of the sleeves. So I just rolled up the trench coat. The trench coat is from, where did I get this trench coat from? Pretty little thing, I think. One of those boutiques, either Boohoo, Pretty Little Thing, something like one of those places. Um, it's just very, very, very lightweight, so I can get away wearing that now in like the early part of spring. Um, and then as far as bottoms, I have on these stirrup leggings that I got from NAKD Fashion. I love them. They have like a little um, hem, like a, not hem, <laughs> what am I trying to say? Like a seam, is that what it is? Like a seam going down the middle. Is this seam? I don't know girl but yeah, as you can see it has like a little detail going down the middle there and I just put the um, stirrup part around my heels um, just to make so that it wouldn't slip off because typically when I wear it whenever I wear stirrup leggings or anything stirrup they tend to ride up and come off of my ankle I don't know what that is I don't know if I just have small ankles or what but they just like pat, come over my heel and then they just yeah so anyway just to kind of keep them secure I wrap them around or over the heel part of these heels and speaking of the heels these heels I love these are like a black where well, they are black and they have like a little perfect detail on the toe part I don't remember where I got these from y'all I'm sorry um yeah I've had these for a while too so can't remember where I got them from probably like I don't know probably like boohoo or something um but yeah I love them because the heel is very comfortable um and then as far as other accessories I have on a little um silver cuff that is from I think she in and then my handbag just a little little, little clutch bag I guess if you will like a moon shape type of situation 
um i love it it is from jw pay so um but this is the outfit i love it i love like like, like again like i said the cool tones of it the rest of the other outfits have been kind of warm tones so i just wanted to go with like a cool tone look just kind of give you some options in case you have like some cool tone um leopard print in your wardrobe you can just kind of do something like this you know um but i love it i think it's so cute and chic um i will wear again like something like this a date night um i don't know you, this would be a cute outfit to wear um i don't know it's like to concert oh you can wear you know wear this to work too you know depending on you know what your job is um if you have an you know an office job and you guys can dress like this where it's yeah like dress you know any way you want to dress um, I think this will be cute, so. But I love it. You guys let me know what you think about it, and we will get into the next look. All right, here's the next look, and this look I just call like pops of pink, um, just to kind of show you that you can wear pink with leopard print. Um, I, like I said, leopard print to me is a neutral, but um, I love pink. Pink is having a, a moment again this year, I feel like. So um, I just wanted to style up my leopard print with a pink top. So um, that's what I did. So as far as starting from the top, these sunglasses, these um, are, I've already styled these up. Like I said, I can't remember where I got them from. Um, but yeah, so I put on the same sunglasses that I had on earlier. Then I went with like these Perspex kind of clear loose side earrings, hoop earrings. I've had these for a while. Again, I don't know where I got these from. I don't know, probably Shein. Um, and then I just went with like a little heart detail necklace just to add a little fun girliness to the look because pink is very girly color so to kind of you know make this more kind of girly because to me leopard print is very edgy and so to kind of again tone down the leopard print I went with this you know pretty just feminine pink so um but yeah um so the pink top the pink, pink sweater that is from mango I've had that for a while now and then the pants I have on the trousers, those are from Target. I just recently got those a few months ago. I don't recommend them at all. I end up getting these in three different types of print. So I got them in a, obviously the leopard print, I got them in a zebra print, and I got them in a snakeskin print. And they actually are from the men's section from Target. I got them online because they are exclusively online at Target. But yeah, I don't recommend them, so I'm not even going to link them. I mean, they fit me fine, but yeah this the sizing is off like i went up several sizes on these i don't know they're okay um, i'm just not gonna i'm not gonna recommend y'all something that i don't you know i'm not gonna tell y'all to get something that i don't feel like you should get um I, I just make i know how to make stuff work um so that's why sometimes i keep stuff even though i don't recommend it i still keep it because i know how to make it work but i don't want i don't want to like influence anybody else to make something work when you you really don't have to do that so um anyway but they are from target just so you know um and then my handbag that is from nkd fashion it's like in this brown tone just wanted to keep i could have went with a black but i just wanted to go with a brown just because you know brown is just a little bit better than you know black black is very stark and very just yeah um and then my shoes these pink um adidas gazelles um i just got these i think i got these around my birthday month in January. Um, I think I got them from Stadium Goods. I get, that's where I get a lot of my sneakers from. So I love these. Um, and they have blue in them. They're like pink and blue. But the blue or the navy is very, it's dark. So it's neutral too. So you can barely see it, but it's still neutral. So it works. So, um, but yeah, those are all the pieces. I love this outfit. Like I said, I just wanted to do like a little pop of pink. Um, just to kind of make this a little bit more feminine, you know, to kind of feminine it, feminine it down a little bit if that's even a word. Uh, but yeah, the pink, the pops of pink just kind of makes it a little bit feminine, even though it's still edgy. But you know, the pops of pink, I feel like make it more feminine and just like a casual type of running errands outfit. Like this is what I would wear to run errands. I might wear this to my son's basketball game or something like that if I felt like, you know, really being edgy and you know stepping outside of the box um but i love it um very very cute outfit i really love this outfit so but you guys let me know what you think about it and we'll get to the next one all right so for the last three outfits because i do have like a this is kind of like a bonus to kind of show you how to style up leopard print in more of a wearable way um I, well actually i feel like all these outfits i showed you are wearable but if you are a person that's like no crystal i can't i can't be doing the most with leopard print and have like a leopard print top and leopard print pants and leopard print you know top you know uh coat you know because i do have a leopard print coat too i didn't style it up but i have lots of leopard print i this video will be so long if i pulled out every leopard print piece that i have um i have a lot of leopard print um just because it's like i said one of my favorite type of prints so i have a lot of it and now that it's trending i'm going out here and i'm buying up some stuff so um but this kind of shows you ways of 
kind of, I'm going to show you, you know, ways of how to style a leopard print, um, where you just like have a pop of leopard print. So this is what I like to call pops of leopard print, where you just have one piece of leopard print. Cause if you don't want to, you know, dress head to toe or just kind of where it's so much, then you can just do it in like subtle ways. So, um, with this first outfit, um, I just went with some leopard print loafers. So the actually the, the the outfit that I have on now is what I'm going to be styling up so the jacket is from um, Zara it's just like an oversized kind of bomber jacket then it's have on a simple black dress I don't know where this dress is from I think I got this from commence um, but it's just like sleeveless so it works perfectly with like a little denim jacket so um, and then my necklace it is old from Zara and I just went with these little earrings um, these are from Amazon like a Bottega dupe but they're smaller and just have like some little cuffs on um, and then the sunglasses I have on those are Ray-Ban so um, but yeah so I just wanted to show you that you can style up leopard print which is like where you have like one piece like just like one little statement piece to your outfit so yeah these loafers they are from Aldo I've had these for a while um yeah i've had these for years literally and so this is just one way you can style it leopard print and it not be you know in your face too much just have like some shoes if you have like some leopard print shoes or if you're out and about and you see some leopard print shoes and you're like how can i make this work then just get a neutral outfit just get a black you know all either all black or you know a denim some like jeans with black you know anything neutral you know if you are a neutrals person that's all you wear is neutrals this is one way you can style up leopard print and it not be too much just go with some shoes or if you have like a leopard print bag um this particular bag i have is from she in it's just like a little um like a fanny pack or i don't wear fanny packs the traditional way i use them as crossbody so um you can use like a you know fanny pack it's like a little crossbody bag just to give you again another little pop of leopard print in your outfit and i just want some red shoes because i like to style up leopard print and red um i just love that two those two combinations of leopard print and red that to me that's classic or a classy way um, to style up leopard print is with red um, or if you want to if you're really bold or if you bold but not too bold you can just go with like a leopard print hat um, this fedora I've had for a while I think that is from actually I have it here it is from Zara so this little leopard print um, little fedora I've had in my wardrobe for years so if you want like to go with like a little hat even like a cap they have like leopard print caps out now like literally y'all anything leopard print as far as a wardrobe item you probably will be able to find now so um but yeah this one is old from zara so you can go with like a leopard print hat you know and the rest of your outfit be neutral so that's just one way this is just one way to kind of you know style leopard print where it was not too intimidating to you you can just use it and you know like i said or wear it like with you know some shoes or um a hat or a statement um, bag handbag or something like that if you want to incorporate leopard print into your wardrobe but you don't want to incorporate it with clothing then you can always do it with accessories so um but yeah so those are the final looks Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and got tons of inspo. I don't know how many outfits I showed you guys, probably about eight or nine or ten, I don't know, but hopefully I gave you guys some inspo of how to style up some of your pieces that you may have, or if you're inspired to go out and find some leopard printed pieces, and hopefully I can give you guys some, you know, inspo and some ways to style them. I really had fun styling up these pieces and styling up um, these outfits, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments which outfit was your favorite, or if you have more than one, be sure to let me know down in the comments. I'd love to know and like I said anything that I showed you as far as the pieces if anything is still available I will link it but most of the pieces with the exception of maybe one or two pieces um, are all old so I probably won't be able to find the exact pieces to what I showed you but um, like I said um, I will try to go on Zara and see if I can find some leopard printed pieces that you, I think you guys will be interested in because a lot of my pieces are from Zara. A lot of the leopard printed pieces that I have um, are from Zara and Zara is just my go-to because it's affordable and you know if you want to try out the trend and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money then you know going to Zara or even H&M. I think H&M have a few leopard print pieces too. Um, yeah you can go on you know the affordable route just to kind of try out the trend and see how you like it. So um, but yeah thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did don't forget to like and subscribe subscribe because it helps my channel out and lets me know that you guys like these kind of videos so um thanks again and i will see you guys in the next one all right bye guys